CL Entertainment. And now, the conclusion. Alright. Uh, to be quite honest, it's been a few days since I last recorded. Today is now Wednesday, and I'm hoping to have this up by tomorrow, but sometimes my computer gets really slow and I'm not able to... Not able to uh, get things done as quickly as I would hope. So, don't we have the key? I'm pretty sure we have the key. I'm pretty sure we have the key. What's going on here? Is there a different entrance? How do we get there? We need to go over where the creatures are. That's interesting. I guess we will have to fight the... Uh, bird creatures. I, I already forgot what they're named. Somewhere's over in that direction. Yeah, so my guess is we're gonna have to go down here and then, okay. I understand now. Pretty sure that's where the mines were, but whatever. Guess we have to go somewhere else. <laughs> he drew the sword automatically, but I want to make sure he draws the proper sword. Got a couple of harpies. Uh huh. Interesting. Are you guys gonna come here and fight? join the fight, but we're going to make sure they do. Make sure we get all the loot because I want to get all the feathers. If we're gonna fight him, we might as well get all the feathers at least. I think that was all of them. Not 
not sure what that's good for, but let's see. Oh, that does give me actual armor. This is the first pair of armors that we've had since that. But our trousers give us, our pants gives us a sign duration and damage bonus on signs, which doesn't make any form of sense for us. So we're going to wear a dead man pair of boot, uh, pants, as gross as that sounds. And boots both have... Yeah, this is definitely better, so we definitely have the better pair of uh, pants and boots. That is the first pair of um, armor we've gotten that isn't the main kind of stuff. So it's just in a different area, that's interesting. Well, I guess the people who saw the previous part of this video Damn it. We're, uh, quite, um, happy to see that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe waiting to see when I realize I went to the wrong place, but it didn't take me long, only a few minutes. sure we get as much feathers as we can like the one that was over there the one over here where was the third at I think it was somewhere around here but I'm not sure ah there it is Um, oh, we got a Harpy Trophy. That's cool. Oh, and it gives us armor. Interesting. Uh, we, we got stuff like this. We really don't need it. Yeah, like all of it. Doesn't look like it's worth much either. Yeah, like stuff like this, we don't need cloth. Oh, and definitely not this. This is weighs too much. Granted, we're not even halfway to where we're like, you know, we have too much weight or anything, but I don't want to chance it. Alright, I think we're good. Let's continue with our fight. Alright, so we need 60 feathers, and I... That was one thing I didn't really look at. Um, so let's look for harpy feathers. Ah, we need 11 more. Now we need 10 more. Alright, so, wonder what we'll find in this place. Damn, you're ugly. Other than the silly harpies. It's a 
pretty cool map. Take this, I suppose. I don't want to take it all. Whatever. I like looking at the map layout sometimes. This area looks quite interesting. Actually had some money on it. That's amusing. Take all on that one. Where's the other one? There we go. Claws, eyes, and feathers. We don't need anything else. And how much do we have now of the feathers? Feathers... We need one more feather and we got that one taken care of, so that's cool. I don't think they're alchemical ingredients either, so... I'm not going to bother getting them afterwards. I mean, I guess I could look to see. Uh, Harpy Egg is... Oh, that's a quest item, though. The saliva is... Oh, the feathers are as well, okay. Well, maybe I will keep getting them. Alright, we have that one quest taken care of. Anything else we get from here on out will be for our own alchemical purposes. I don't think I need these trophies. Are they even worth anything? Eight gold. Yeah, that's not worth it. And how much do they even weigh? Well, they're, they don't weigh too much, but I'm not going to bother with them. go this way since this is where the quest is but I'm kind of curious where the other way it, it looked like it wrapped around
that scene? The head of a king. Take it to Sheila. You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed, in common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you'll bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. Did that random stone give us a vision or something? gonna take all in this area because there's just gonna be a ton of junk here we'll use that a bit later and the heartbeat queen was right over here somewhere didn't really get anything from her. Uh, maybe this was the one. We got. It looked like a sword that we got that was named Harpy. Oh, it's a silver sword. So 16 to 29, which is the low end is pretty bad, but honestly, it's way better. The bleeding is pretty good. And the damage is much better, um, so, I mean, obviously the damage is much better, but um, the, it also does damage to heartbeats, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so we can see people's dreams here. Which means we have to go find a bunch of different dreams.
saw that. Well, we got the dream from this area. Let's go to the other area. The only other thing I saw in a wall was at the beginning of the, of the mine. Or whatever the hell this place is. But that was like... I'm, I'm pretty sure it was... A, a stone of some kind. But if it's not, I want to go back and quickly get it, just in case. Thankfully it's not back too far. I mean, it, it probably seems like it was back pretty far, but... But yeah, it probably seemed like it was pretty far away since we had to do a lot of fighting, but in all honesty, it wasn't that far away. find a bunch of like shit you stink we're going to find a bunch of stuff in the walls basically so i know what to look for now I was gonna say, thankfully they don't respawn enemies, but it looks like they did. I mean, obviously we got enemies once we took the one dream crystal, but the last couple that we got... Okay, those are just herbs. Get rid of this. Oh yeah. Nope. Where was the other? Looks like it was the stuff I don't want. There's just so much of them, I don't think I'm going to bother too much anyways. I think we got most of them along the way now. I think that one that was back there was the only one extra. a new area. Either that or the sun has set.
got this area taken care of. I gotta say, I don't see it, but it's gotta be this thing right here. These look more like memories instead of dreams, by the way. So I'm not quite sure why they're calling them uh, dreams. Could loot them, but I'm not gonna. Just too much. That's where that thing is. Now we have a bunch of them. By the goat, they're closer and closer. They'll not catch me. They'll not find it there, over my dead body, horses. You'll never fathom Master Baltimore's secrets. It's not far now. Alright, so Dwarf did something, apparently. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Ah, oh, the luck. To think I wanted to play dice with the others. Call them too. It'll be lovely. Another redhead girl. Was that actually the girl that got poisoned? Saskia or whatever? Kind of looked like her without armor. Is this the dragon? Seeing the memories of the dragon? Alright, so I'm guessing this one was interesting, Baltimore's, but let's see the blue one, because that might actually make sense to what we need to see. That it? A language we don't understand? I mean, other than Letho's memory, the only other one that made sense was this one. Well, whatever, we found everything we need, and we need to give the um, thingamabob to Philippa.
and one of those dreams talked about um, the one uh, witch lady, so... Not the one that we're with right now, but... Um, oh, was it the main one? I, I can't remember. Sorceress, whatever, witch, sorceress. Same thing, really. Come on! Noticed another way to go up, but I don't think we need to go that way. Probably be another way to go up here. Goes over there somewhere. Don't really like to follow all that much. There we go. Feathers, just like you wanted. Good work! Why, it's even a pleasure to pay you! I gotta admit, that might have been the strangest job I've ever had. Well, it's yeah. hardly done. More? Okay. I'll hear you out, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I need a few more feathers. Sir. What, 120? Who is now? it that needs them? You or this collector? Well, he does, of course. Pretty suspicious. Why didn't you tell me how many I was supposed to bring right off? I... Uh, I needed to see the quality. Just a few feathers more. <laughs> I'll pay extra. Decide. Let me think about it. We need only eight more. I wouldn't be surprised if we had it. Get rid of these three pounds. Or not. Yeah, we have a bunch of harpy feathers. We have 49 left. I've got some more feathers. Sleek and untattered. I hope that'll do it. I look at them and select the finest. There's your payment, <laughs> with a small bonus. What am I supposed to do with the ones I have left? Whatever you wish. I've no need for them. Farewell. Alright, visit him later. Looks like I can visit him right now. Yes, you're beautiful, my queen. Oh, good grief. My lady. You're a wondrous sight. <laughs> All in your nest envy you. <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> I want you to have this feather. I have no use for it. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, neither do I. Uh, neither does this collector, you mean? Yes, yes. Uh, neither does he. I wonder why he needed a specific number of feathers. Perhaps to match the number of empty spaces in his 
feather album. Don't see how that would matter. It's immensely important! Well, I guess I don't know much about collections. No, but that's probably true. Pretty warm for this time of year. It is colder usually, isn't it? <clears throat> the mages must be up to something. Oh, yes. They devise with experiments. Always changing the world. They'll botch it one day, and it'll be the end of us, I tell you. I shudder to even think about it. Alright, I guess that's it, maybe? Where are you headed? Okay, that was weird. All right, let's check out the journal. We have a few things we can do. Yeah, she layers is that how it's pronounced? Got to wait for this one. Gotta wait. Well, I'm gonna check this one out first, and then we'll go do the others. Did that say chapter three? No, okay. Because I was starting to be like, wait, when did we do chapter three? What? What? Not only is, when did we do chapter three, but when did we end chapter two? I feel it coming along soon, but I'm quite positive we didn't uh, get there just yet. That's an inn. Yeah, there's a marker like kind of behind us on the map. I guess that's the north end. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure there's one person's house is within the actual village and that somewhere is randomly not in the city. Yeah, I remember those annoying dwarves that were here talking really loudly. Yeah, me too. I don't think it would be that way. Let's go check um, the guy over here, or near the guy over here, I forgot his name, but I feel like it was, I feel like the guy is over in this area somewhere. Hello, Chief. Greetings. Might have to speak with somebody. But yeah, I think he's over in this area where the one guy is. So that one guy is right over here. I feel like he's over in this area. Okay. Yeah, because it looked like it was in this general location.
Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Well, who was he then? Who was Master Baltimore? He was a runesmith, the greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down upon Tar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. Uh, how did he vanish? How did he vanish? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his fears, even paranoia. But that comes natural with great artists. Makes sense. Thought someone was out to kill him. Then he vanished without a trace in mysterious circumstances. After a month-long search, we held a funeral without his body to honor the memory of the great master. Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice became the new runesmith, and life goes on. And I'm guessing that's who lives there now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house, along with the honor of continuing the great master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs. Well, either the apprentice did it and doesn't think we're going to find anything, or he didn't do it at all. I'm personally on the side of he didn't do anything. Because by the sounds of it, it sounds like somebody else was doing something. Well, he is right. There definitely is some ore. I'll take these, though. And... Here's the Ard. All right, so there was a note back here. Oh, okay. The item in the uh, furnaces. That's an interesting idea. Where is the furnace? Was that the furnace? Well, this was a workshop. Oh, this is the furnace. Um... Okay, you start looking at the well where loud echoes dwell. Oh, rhyme. Take a, take ten paces towards the river. Walk left and do not shiver. Meager two tens of paces. Past the gate and my good safety. Okay. Well, we read that. I don't want the ore. Wait, Geralt knew what? It's a shape like a circle with a line traced from it. I have no idea what that means. Like a balloon. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? I found this. I can't read it. That's elder speech, right? Correct. The text describes how to get to a certain place. What place? Don't know. The clues mark out a route of some sort. 
could be where Baltimore hid his notes. Please, come to me if you find anything. It's very important. Will do. See you, Governor. I I want to talk to somebody else about this Baltimore character, or the person wanting us to speak to him about it, because before he didn't seem well. You know, he might just want to be as good as him. He he's probably wanting the notes to get better at what he does, but. Before I wasn't too uh, suspicious of him, but now, now I kind of am. Interesting. It's one of these pathways. Oh, this is where I came up from that one time. So, um, Okay, so we need to go look for a well. Once we find the well, then we can uh, start our search properly. I don't think there was any well around here of any kind. Well, this is gonna be kind of fun, maybe. I hope. I hope they did this quest right because this has a lot of potential to be fun. Since you know, as you can, as you can tell, it's not on the mini map. So, and honestly, I. Don't remember seeing a well anywhere. See if we can sell any junk to him. Uh, yeah, we paid so much m for this money, uh, so much money for this sword, but we don't need any more. We don't need these. I don't know if we need most of this stuff, to be quite honest. We need to make some more Swallow. We have so much of these trophies, we don't need them. What's this? I wonder if the trophies makes us, like, wonder if we, like, wear it or something. Amethyst dust. Drown or brain. I'm gonna keep that, since that's the only one we have. Although it looks like an alchemical ingredient. Oh, let's get rid of the leather. Get rid of this twine. Anything else we can sell? Stone medallion. Alright. So there's a well somewhere. I'm gonna talk with... A dwarf here maybe they'll know more we have a blue character in here look another one you let one human in and in no time you've got a swarm 
ants they are. I heard you that's a man whose business is not ruined by war. Lots going on around here. Aye, like a virgin dragon slayer, mm -hmm. squirrels dazzled with a politicking peasant, witches and a witcher. The onlookers gawking at the whole thing. Hope things get back to normal soon. I think I've heard of you. The peasants now refuse to shut them here. They dream of fighting mutants. Zoltan. Lots going on around here. Hope things get back. That was not Zoltan. Not gonna be playing any dice in this game. Okay, let's talk to. Don't be afraid of Zoltan. I've been trying to figure out what Philippa Eilhart's doing in all this mess. Same thing as always. Conspiring until she gets her pubes in a knot. I know you hate sorceresses, but try to put your animosity aside. We hate them, as a fact. But why do you think that is? It's not because of their secret knowledge of their nice tits. Their hearts are full of dumb guilt. Mark my words. You exaggerate. No, maybe not all of them. The Isle Heart's the worst. Need I remind you how she peddled her ass to Dijkstra just to learn the plans of the Redanian Intelligence Service? Everyone in Vergen knows she's not into cock. I tell you this, it's her ilk that caused the ruckus on Thanid Island. Think she's any different here? I'm crap at talking, girl, but you do all right. So I'd appreciate it. As soon as Saskia's better, slip a word in her ear to watch out for Philippa. Will do. I don't really trust her as much either. I, I don't Getting even really trust Triss that much. Like whores in a brothel, they're plowing away at full speed. Sarsky's army's full of men better at holding their pricks than a weapon. But Zoltan and I are helping them catch up. Well, Most good. importantly, they don't lack spirit. They won't defeat Hensel's regulars with zeal alone. Ah, uh, we'll show you what an army facing either victory or death is capable of. But we've no other choice, Geralt. That is true. Alright. Let's go uh, make some potions and let Geralt have a nice sleep. Just remembered. I had a, he had a hard time going back out that door for some weird reason. Let's not leave uh, Dandelion out. Never mind. Stop stroking him and wrap him up. Nothing else to talk with him about, I guess. <laughs> Do some alchemy. Hopefully we have enough for this. Six new ones. Sounds good. What are we using? A balise, scrotoderm, and bryonia. Interesting. Good thing I picked that then. Oh, now we can use harpy saliva. That sounds gross. All right. Well, we we, I think we did good on that. Check out our character. We have three new talents. Uh, let's see if I got everything here that I wanted to. That uh, doesn't matter much. Alright. Oh, actually, I want to check this out now. I want to try and getting... The, I want to get the, um, what is it, the shield up and running. I want a better shield. I don't remember which one that is, so. Alright, it is Qin.
Let's go and see how far we had to go to get the Q in. That's Ard. Destructive. Axie. Oh, there's the Q in. It's like right away, so that's nice. I forgot what actually does. I mean, I could do this and then get this. Magic intensification, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Igni, I don't really care. Vigor, magical vigor, that could be good. Yerdin Gilf Um more vitality, that's nice. Um out of all of these I'll probably go with Ard, maybe. Uh, let's check this one first, though. Was there something I was going to get? I got that all the way up to two. Got that all the way up. Yeah, might as well. So we'll get this. And then I'll get this. And after that, for this area, I'm going to go and get this to intensify the magic. And then I'll go and get bigger. And make my way to get this to life force. And now let's go to bed. It is 23, so it's 11 at night, so let's go to bed and wake up early at 8. Alright, so we need to go and find... Wait a second, did I just see that right? Aren't you supposed to have the horseshoe upside down so the luck never runs out? Isn't that what the... And I don't believe in all that crap, but isn't that the symbology is supposed to be? Anyway, um, we need to find that uh, waterfall. And by waterfall, I mean not a waterfall. And in fact, I mean a well. But where is it? Oh, I can go around this way to go here. Fair enough. I like the guitar work here. It's probably... It's probably not in town. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Where's the waterfall at? Oh, and this way goes here. Okay, there's a lot of wraparounds that I could have been going. There goes the PC. Squirrels, witches, an army led by a woman. Or so. What a weird name. The accidency market rights. People get a hold of yourselves. 
Just pray you survive this war. Oh, a witcher. Uh huh. Where the hell is the well? Oh, that actually rhymed. I don't know if it's actually inside the town. It might not be. Don't try anything. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Let's hear it. See, when they're to marry, they become terribly picky. How do you see it? Do the gods favor Lady Saskia as she claims? The gods never What's up here? I'm watching you. Where is it? I think it's one area I thought of quickly. I thought of the burned village. I was thinking there was a well there, but I think that's something else. I don't think it's you. I think it is the burned village. I think that was a well. Get to it. And you, my love, do you trust the girl? Pretty close, let's see if it is. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is can be considered a well or not. As there's no hole down there that but if this is a well, or at least was a well, then... River? There's no river. There's the pond up, up over in this area. Could be that. Or it could be that way. Although, if you look, there is a river this way. So maybe we do go that way. Mm. 
There is an inn over here, so... <clears throat> so... Take ten paces towards the river, walk left, do not shiver. So the river is this way. Can we go that way? Nope. Alright, so we go this way. this way then. Wow, it brought me way out here. Right, so it's definitely not that way. That's where the river is, right? Yeah, so we definitely can't go that way. Um... Maybe it's this way? Stop pulling your sword out, you little retard. Stop pulling it out, motherfucker. Maybe it's this way. Stop pulling it out, motherfucker. I really have no idea where we go for this. That obviously was not the well. So we have to go back in town and look for the well. And I don't want to look it up yet, so... I'll check this way first, and let us just hope it's over here. I mean, it is possible it's over here. And if it's not in this area, then I honestly have no idea where it could be. Let's check over in this end. Maybe the house area up here has a well?
Doesn't look like it. Got a lot of neckers here. Interesting. They weren't here before. Hmm. I almost feel like I might be on the right path now since there are so many enemies here now. When there never was before. But I don't really feel like fighting right now. I feel like searching. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up. Because I'm pretty sure there was no... I'm pretty sure there was no uh, wells back there. So it's gotta be somewhere in the town. It is a pretty big place, so... I don't know... You know, I don't know where to... I, I haven't gone yet. But, I don't know. Regards! I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Alright. Let's see where it is. Alright, so I didn't quite look it up, but, uh, so I like to watch people play the game, I usually have it on mute, but this time I was, flee their everyday lives and plunge into dreams. uh, this time around I was actually, um, listening to what the person said, uh, those of you who don't know, I was actually checking out Variax, anyways, his musings kind of let me, you know, I was reading it, I was reading it out loud, slightly, I don't know if you guys heard it, um, but when he was reading it out loud, it just kind of hit me that what we're looking for is an inn, and this is the only inn that we know of in this area, so I think this is the river that we're looking for, and that is connected up here. But it does say to take a left, so I think we have to go around this way. I was originally thinking we had to go here, but I don't think we can go here. So I think we had to go up this way. If that doesn't work out, then um, I think we're screwed. I, I Honestly, uh, the second idea I did have is that it is this way. And that the inn is over in this general area. And we have to go back into the fight area. But the problem with that, as you guys know, is we'll probably die in almost immediately. And if we don't, um, it'll be way too hard. I think to go back in here, we have to... We're doing things to break this weird vision happening. So I think we have to do stuff before we can do that. So if that is right then that would mean there, that's why there's no, like, this kind of thing. It's not like the rest of these. Um, because, like, this one here says we have to wait, so maybe we have to wait for this one as well. So...
Yeah, it's this part right here. The lines always point to a shelter. That's why I thought it was the inn. I don't know if it is, but I want to try it. And the reason why I'm trying it is because that was my idea. I looked at the map and saw the inn up in the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, and wondered to myself if maybe that is the way. Maybe this was once a well, but it has been destroyed. And then here's where we go, but this is the left, right? Take 10 paces towards the river, walk left, and do not shiver. So maybe this is the left we have to go. And then it says something about uh, past the gates, the one that our safety keeps. These are kind of like a gate, like an entrance. Although the ones over there that go to the place also make sense. But we're going to pretend it's here. Now at this point, I'm not sure where we would go. I mean, the inn's way up here, so I don't, I don't think we can... I don't think going this way will take us up there. I was thinking maybe we had to go over here. Maybe th we finally go this way. Go where the crossroad patron sleeps. Well, I think we're in front of that place right now. Every road you need to take. Yep, all the roads lead to the same place. Yet the middle one is safe. I guess that's kind of like a middle one. And it was safe because it takes us to the trolls. And they're not violent. Um, heed and look for the signs and you'll follow my designs. Should you choose to go right, seeing someone in play, or maybe that's the one that is them. All right. Well, they're, they make it sound like there's more than two ways to go. They make it sound like there's three ways. Well, unless we look at it like this. I do think it's over here somewhere. sense though because both ways have harpies so this night might not be it this is above the same area that we were at yeah so either way we take I think it really is this boat area over here it's the only thing I can think of That's pretty cool. So we're down here. This is the area where I really think it's at. And maybe we go up this way. Maybe this is the way we have to go up. And it takes us up here. Let's 
not run so much. I like the um the doorway behind the little tree the shrubbery over there. Like in the crevice of a little hill. Feels very um shit. No, that's the wrong way to go as well. Wow, what a shitty game. It'd be nice if they told us, but... Okay, so I am right. I saw that, um... I saw that symbol. So I was right. It is out here, which means we can't do this right now. It's, like, impossible to do this right now. We have to do something else. So, my second idea was right. That sucks. I don't like that. That's weird. Just randomly l loaded me in. That was weird. Um. Why isn't it searching even though it says I can? I think it's uh, fucked up on us. Well, nothing really happened during that time. We've just been, um... I, have... I found... We've just been looking around. Welcome, I... I have a few... Ask. We already asked. Well, ask... But it's not... How did Bal... Um, so we're not going to do this one yet, because we need to do that other stuff. We got these one done, that's, we need to wait. We gotta wait till we see Triss again for that. Gotta wait for that, we now know who's doing all this, it's that Thiley person. That arose, source of the power. We still need to get some royal blood. I think we're gonna go with this. Okay, done banner standard in the sword. Let's see, do we have the standard? Got the immortelle, we got a lot of it. There's the standard. I don't think we have the sword, but I, if I remember right, she's the one who said that she would have it. I just wanted to see if the trophy... Oh, we do see the trophy. Well, let's see what the other one looks like. Oh, good grief. Alright, well does that do anything good? One armor. Are all these trophies the same? So, this gives us more armor, but this also gives us one vitality, damage dealt to humans, and damage bonus on signs. I'm gonna keep this, but that's amusing.
I believe we're gonna speak to the sorceress now. Because we've got a lot of stuff taken care of. We have we have the thing that can find Triss. Oh, that's her um girlfriend. Are all the sorceresses in this game bisexual? One can only hope. Anyways. You wanted to discuss I found a stolen dream. It seems powerful. I think it's a dragon's dream. Excellent. That should do nicely. Come back and see me when you have the remaining ingredients. Indeed. You wanted to... Um... Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher. But it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil war. Looks like she doesn't know of the plan. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. Well, what's going on outside my place is it's what's really going on? windy. The peasants want to take pitchforks to King Demoven's son. Why? The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Very peaceful music for such a taxing situation. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power, the object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. That's good, actually. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. I honestly would not want it that way. Kind of trying to remember where it was, but can't. Okay, so it was over in that general area.
You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. The commoners claim it's our princess. Sir, so Lord. Geralt! It's good to see you. Yeah. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vergen. Not doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them. You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. All right, what's your plan? What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Yeah. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Change your tone when we put a sick on the beard and henseled at the gates. Save your Wraith fill the mist and commoners and nobles are at each other's throats. Say, Witcher, come over here. This is nonsense. What, were the what do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Give us this whole plower! Rolling Power. dung, you... As I... Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel? Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He'd better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. 
Where's this willy of yours? <laughs> Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard it. And what about this? The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them! Yeah, I Farewell. don't like... I don't like them. Guilt must be proved at all. Otherwise, it's vigilant. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No, thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in Mayor Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible. After this, we'll go talk to both to the, the fury servant, of sovereigns and think, servants who are all thumbs. I think he's the one who Saskia's did it. chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's britches. Uh, who commissioned it? Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to a lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Anything unusual Was the about order it? for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. All right. See you at the end. Good. Imagine Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Your throat. Who will the Witcher side with? I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. Welcome again. I have a few questions. Ask. Anyone order an exqu- I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exact- Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend- If she gets a chance to order anything again. Alright, is there- where's the- I want to find the servant. Um, is the servant somewhere in this area then? Let's read the thing.
Where is this... Where is this servant at? I'm very confused. I want to ask this servant person. Who will the Witcher side with? I can tell you what. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. As I Humans see only care how their asses rise as their stations do. Guilt must be proven. The plane is being built on. Wait a second. He said Skoilitel were around them. So let's go look for some elves. And you see what they did to her? Give us this whole power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! Not over there. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. They say someone cast a spell. And the virgin fell as Nobody will believe me anyway. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody, said the virgin, is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. What should I do? Could be. Sorcerers are a plague of the worst kind. Hang them all oh, by the balls and let them swing. Witcher. All right, let's go and find Cecil. Doesn't look like he's at his house. Nope, wrong area. Uh, yep, he is at his house. They said we don't have much time, but honestly, it feels like we've had a lot so far. Which is good. They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Alright, thanks. See you, Governor. Mm hmm. Let me guess once we get the uh, proof, that's when the crowd starts uh, walking in, and then we have to be like, yeah. We found the proof of who it is. All right, pointed us this way, now it's pointed us this way.
Nothing interesting. See what the notes say. They don't say anything, just a design. So now we just wait. It is true that he did not want to give away his blood, so if he is indeed the one who said that line, then that would be quite telling. Okay, so I have to talk to the inhabitants. So if it was a priest who said that, then all right. But if, if not, oh, and let's get this going. Should I talk to Cecil again? I mean, I already uh, gathered more information. I have the information, so now I need to know what it is. Maybe he'll be able to tell me. Nope. See you, Governor. All right. So who's who can I talk to about this that will give me clues? Because in the journal it said uh, that our character here talked to two of the inhabitants. Let's try Thoric again. Welcome. I Nothing. Sick stuff. prince has it coming, methinks. Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. 
taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right. Give us Stannis. Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? It's not clear how the prince poisoned the wine, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Yeah. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead, the prince can, curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tomb? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis's time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Yeah, that's just guesswork, not evidence. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? 
What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll mm. be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure. And royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble, which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Scoyatal units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. All right. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Time to talk to um, Sorceress Girl. We were interrupted after all. Not that one. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can do. Gotta wait for this. Pretty much gonna have to wait for that. Wait for that. Still need to find the blood. Oh, and I still need to talk to her about this stuff. I need to talk to her about that. Gotta wait. And then we need to get this. Interesting. So what did that say? Yeah, we're gonna have to go get Henselt. And that means we have to go out into that fog area. Let's go talk to her. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal I love the little nearby, weird probably on the other side. The Witcher had on In his the face. Camp. You'll have to pass through the mist. Yeah. It is suicide. I tried. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. Oh. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. Thanks. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? <sighs> we have to do that now? Hey, where'd the naked girl go?
Alright then. Ah, oh, man. We have to actually cross the mist. This isn't good. Ah, oh, we're going this way. Well, obviously that way. And there really is nothing else to do. There is that which is on the other side. That's the blood we need. And that's the same thing, yeah. Pretty much is everything else is taking us to the other side. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like he might be a suspect in this section as well. So that's interesting. Gotta wait for that. And we need to get some blood, so we're gonna go with this. Oh man, this is not gonna be fun. Uh, the girl that uh, the sorceress was, was with kind of looked like the girl that uh, lives over there. Didn't really look to see if the girl had ears or not, though. The elven ears, that is, obviously. Um, let's go and save. And map time. Yeah, so we have to go this way. The uh, quest for the other one, the... Um How many more can there be? Need fast though. All right, they're starting to push back. Oh, okay. It's a cool little transition. Too bad it's wasted with the loading screen. Gotta go for the raid. Alright. Wonder how many more. 
So it's uh, the creature thing here is following me. It was for a while, now it's going on its own. Oh, get back in. I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! Alright, thanks. Which way do I go? Okay, and where do I go? Let's check this out. map not journal when I saw the thing it looked like it was over in this area I don't think it's gonna be here all right well I was hoping all right so we're going this way She's hiding out in that area, I believe. Right over here. Whatever that's for. Alright, so somebody wants her. Red dot, I'm guessing that's where we Okay, well whatever. you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys, it's Geralt of Rivia, or my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhard located her. Well, it seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them too when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. I refuse to explain myself to you or anyone else. You saved a group of thieves and bandits. Deride them if you will but they're ready to die side by side with the simple people of Vergen. They've got better reasons to fight than orders. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? 
The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. Don't forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles, but some monsters have their lairs there. If mm. you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. I always make good on my promises. So where is the um, cave system? That sounds like the easiest way to go. I think it's that one right up there. Let's save to make sure. I want to make sure I go the easy way. I think he did say north. some of these before. I don't think this is the cave area. All right, let's go the <clears throat> let's go the other way. Your name? I thought it said something weird. Oh, Mona. Never mind. I thought it said something funnier. Is it? Isn't it somewhere in here? Maybe. Maybe this way. Sunny day, sweeping the pants away. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, Hansel? 
Uh, nothing. Right. Wait. I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. No thanks. I'm not gonna pay for converse. Ah, this must be it. That's a weird place to have a um, loading screen. So I guess this we can't go this way. So we have to pay for the easier way. No thanks. Well, that was a waste of time. To do the difficult way, which is gonna be us fighting more and more. It's a great and wondrous thing, don't you know? it look like we can go that way, but apparently not. Damn, we had to sneak through all this. Yeah, going through that way would have been much easier. Uh, I'll see if we can go around this way. This game's not really good with giving us the ability to sneak. Uh, let's save right here. Hey, run to the harbor, lass. You don't know what you're missing. Out of the way! We know that you oh, young yeah, Blondie! Blondie. <laughs> we'll make a bonfire bright. Throw your clothes onto the pyre. You'll be ours this fine night. Give yourself to your and my arm. I think I'm gonna kill. Steel, not any old steel. An animal, a measly drunk beast. On hay in the barn, she really looks fresh. go all the way over there quit yatterin move it when we go into battle I, I bet 30 dead. silver killed a son of a bitch Let's grab your weapons! 
What a shitty game. Those guys just teleported there out of nowhere. Come on, hurry up. I hate how it takes for fucking ever to do this. And then it goes all the way to the beginning of the game. Fucking love that bullshit. Oh, this is so fucking retarded. Forward march! It almost feels like it would be better to just go right following them. Two patrols have gone missing. I heard the wraiths ripped into shreds. Quit yattering! Move it! Yeah, I think following them might be the best bet. Because somehow those guys, like... I was hoping we could go around that way, but apparently we can't. Or maybe we can. When we go into battle, I'm ready to face the Virgin of Ender. Look out! Don't get Sorry. too close to him! You'd like to plow her, but you'd smash your head in. Maybe I just have to wait Somebody for the... What the hell? What a shitty game. So we need to kill the cook. Hold formation! Forward march! I am glad our shift is over. Since that mist appeared, two patrols have gone missing. I heard the wraiths ripped into shreds. Quit yattering! Move it! Alright, let's go kill the uh, cook. Apparently he's the one who summons everybody. When we go into battle, I'm ready to face the Virgin of Edern herself. Look out! Smart. Don't get That's too close to him! You'd smash your head in. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch! Look out! Don't get too close to him! I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch. Look out! Don't get too close to him! What? They see me? How? What the fuck is wrong with this stupid ass shitty game? Forward march! Alert! To arms! Let's just run for it. Spy in the camp! Let's scrap your weapons! Come on. Uh. 
All right, shitty game. Really hating this game right now. Okay, let's go back the other way. I'm going to go take the other way. Pain is much easier at this point. I don't think we have enough money, but... Yeah, that should be good enough. Go, motherfucker! So fucking retarded. Alright. Wait, we can't go? You gotta be fucking shitting me. I don't know the path, game. I'm here for fun, not for bullshit. I don't understand what we need to do. Maybe we go through the door that they came out of. No, it doesn't seem like it. And we definitely don't go that way because that fucked us over. So how do we, where do we go? That way people will see us. People will see us over there. And the cook will see us over this way. I'm, I'm not sure I understand what the fucking game wants here. For us to die, apparently. Maybe we go this way? Nope. Damn it all. I don't understand. What in the bullshit is this? What retard thought this was a great idea? Yeah, let's fuck up people playing the game. Let's make them feel like shit. I don't understand what we're supposed to do here. Cause, I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch. Because the cook over here sees us and somehow tells everybody. But we can't go that way because there's someone right there. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch. Because I'm pretty sure we need to go through those doors over there. But there doesn't seem to be a way to do that. Look out! Don't get too close to him! I'm not sure what we can do here. Somehow the cook hears us even though we're sneaking. For a second I thought he just turns around, but... That's definitely not what happens. I think we really need to go through these doors and then go this way. But... We can't get there. Can't go that way even though it looks like we can. Because there's a barricade with guards. So that's a definite no. So I'm pretty sure we have to go this way. I tried going out along the outer edges. 
hoping the guards up on top don't see us, but they do. And if we go through there, which we can, we can't go through these two, but we can go through these. If we go that way, the cook sees us and then tells everybody. See, if we could only go that way. I bet 30 silver killed a son of a bitch. Don't, don't kill me, Lord. Please. I'm only cooking here. Somebody help. See? There's nothing I can do. And if we kill him... There's nothing we can do either. Alert! Alert! God damn this fucking shitty ass game. Alright, so I'm back. I looked it up. I did, I kind of was looking uh, on a video as usual, but at the same time as I was playing, I was looking up uh, on the wiki about this. And apparently, if I wanted to go back and reload the save file I did before this, um, it would cost five hundred dollars or orange, whatever you want to call it, five hundred gold which would be more than half of it to bribe that one person to get us through the other area and I was willing to do a max of 200 so I had to look this up and you work too hard there we go. Yes. You're right. I'll uh, lie down. And let's save here. Can we turn this off? We need the people that come out this door to come out. Wait, what was that? I wanted to make sure I uh, didn't have to do anything else. So we either go that way or that way. Obviously we have to go the other way, so see if there's anything over here that we can get. More herbs, moss of some kind. I suppose. Okay, so we have a chest here. And a 
body here. Let's see if that's good. We got some new armor. Uh, 15, so one less than what we've got right now. Resistance to incineration, bleeding, poisoning at 22%. What we have is 27, so what we've got is better, but we can still sell it. What was this? I don't care about iron. What about the chest here? Good, some orans. All right, let's go check this way. I'll take diamond dust. The amethyst dust. this okay that's cool let's go this way we'll search the whole tunnels How long do these tunnels go for? Not much longer it looks like. Get my, oh that's a worthy prize. Okay. Kinda useless coming down here. But at least we exhausted all places to check out before we go to the main area. And we have a little bit of an area over here, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It actually might wrap around. Oh, there's a door to go here. Well, we want to go this way over here. Not a door. Some loot that we can't get. So it's not a door area, but there are stuff down here that we can't get. Well, at least this one we weren't able to. Must be for a quest. Let's get rid of this, by the by. Now we can go and get Triss, finally. That actually might be the area that we come through from the, um, if we do the, if we pay the bribe, we might come down around that area or something. That's all I can think of. Alright, exhausted that area, so let's continue this way. 
They're explosion and affects each other, it looks like. Run! Alright. That goes to a door. AKA leading out from a different entrance. Entrance slash exit. They took out each other with that one. Oh, let's check out this way. Magic or danger. on a golem. That's interesting. I don't have golems in my game. Not sure if I will do that. It's an interesting idea though, but I just don't understand where they come from or anything about them, so I would have to like look up a bunch of stuff about them to see if it's something I would ever do. sure those all suck. Alright, let's see what I picked up here. Oh, I picked up the thing I bought. I believe I bought that. Um, looks the same as what I've already got. Slightly worse, but by very little. Better than what we've got. So it's got two armor, uh, reduction of damage, uh, the herbalist gloves are good for getting alchemy obviously, but this other one, um, resistance to damage from magic, which is good, or reduction, not resistance. But, well, it's a little bit less with the elven armor, so the magic damage is better with the herbalist. But that has blade oils, which I don't use. The other one has resistance to bleeding and incineration plus 8%, which is really good. And the maximum load is 5, so I'm guessing our weight goes from 250 to 255. Let's try that. Yep, exactly what it does. So our trousers are crap. Or this was ours actually, so. I might keep this just in case for the additional alchemy ingredient, but in general, most of this stuff I'll be selling. Uh, let's see what any new weapons. Uh, I might put this in our um, safe spot. Start walking. We have a corpse here. I don't think she's here.
looks like another entrance exit area. We'll check that out later, I, I suppose. Gear Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your back? Have you seen a red-headed sorceress anywhere? You didn't seem to understand my delicate suggestion, Nordling. Drop your sword. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Let Nada rub with her. Geralt, I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Esther Garamnith. I remember you telling Faltes you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Faltes' advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet, but if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons too. They told me you were in league with the Squiretown, with Jorvath himself no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Yorveth was among those condemned. Another memory? September 13th, 1269. The Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies Does were this play the place on Earth, supposedly? The writers of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, Since they're using our um, Gregorian Sintra, counter. The village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy. His parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals. Reminds me of the, the never-ending story, that one. All except for Yennefer. Artax, please! Anyways. <laughs> so, was he the young boy that his parents kind of just didn't think would survive or whatever? Why'd we get a memory from him talking about Yorveth? Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the kings of the North demanded the massacre at the ravine of the Hydra. You feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Marigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vandemar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, 
Would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? If you hurt her, I'll find you, even in Nilfgaard. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Talvik or found him dead, it's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. You Vanamar, just don't know Geralt, Once do you're you? done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. Time to destroy them all. Oh. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? Are you? Plow yourself, Nilfgaardian. Your words mean nothing now. Go with quick on him. Like the good old days. Haven't killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Foltest's former advisor. This stinks horribly, Geralt. Yeah. It would seem the Nilf Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. Only Triss can lead us to the Kingslayer. I need to save her. Not only her, Geralt. All the other leads point to the same place. 
Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the council and the conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the north. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Hensalt is likely to arrive too. But an Elfgardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Yeah, somebody can take them all out basket. at the same time. One more thing, Roach. I need to see Henselt. Why? I need a few drops of Henselt's blood. Someone poisoned Saskia's wine, and his blood is an ingredient of the cure. Saskia's a rebel, a wench from who knows where. She only speaks of knightly honor. Says Vernon Roach, blue-blooded prince, heir of Temeria. All right, enough. Ah, plow it. I hope I won't regret it. Pencil should be in his tent. I'll distract the guards, then it's up to you. I owe you, Vernon. <laughs> That's not even funny anymore, Geralt. So, ready? I got no time to lose, Let's really. go, Roach. Go find the guy's body here. Geralt, hide. Hey, you, come over here and save quickly. What do you want, Tamarian? Those Nilfgaardians are beating up our lads. What? Whore sons will regret that. So I'm guessing we had to fight King, the King. To me, Ross, alert! What a shitty game. I was hidden. <sighs> what a fucked up mess this game is. Hey, you! Come over here! What do you want, Tamarian? Maybe we go this way. To me, I'll make mince made of your horse. To me, my heart. Nope, we just can't fight him. This is fucking retarded. How did they see us, anyways? Roach isn't really helping. I guess he's betraying us. Hey, you! Come over here. What do you want, Tamarian? Those Nilf Guardians are beating up our lads. What? Whore sons will regret that! There's a person over there. They can't see us. Nobody can see us, technically, so don't know how they got me from last time. How am I supposed to sneak in there? I honestly don't understand. Hmm. I have to distract them somehow. 
Yeah, you think? What the devil happened here? Hansalt will skin us alive! Who are? Have you come to kill me? I'm here for your blood. You sneak in here like a villain and you want my blood? Fight me and try to spill it. Calm down, your highness. I need only a drop. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Volteth's favorite witcher. I've heard of you. Why do you need my blood? Saskia, the Virgin of Edirne, was poisoned. Royal blood is one of the antidote's ingredients. What superstitious nonsense? The wench wants royal blood? She should bite Stennis, Edirne's heir, in the arse. Listen, Your Highness. Give me your blood voluntarily, or I'll open your veins myself. I prefer the first choice. It would work out better for both of us. If I spill your blood myself, I'll have to break through the entire camp again. Who knows, maybe one of your soldiers will get lucky and kill me. I sincerely hope so, Satchel Mouth. But then the Wraith's Mist will hang on the border until your knights become weary of warring. What are you talking about? You know how to open the way for my army? Yes, but I can't do it dead. You'll get my blood. But promise you'll disperse the mist. Right, you we, I guess we both key. have to do that. So both sides need the mist taken care of. Remember our deal. My men will lead you out of the camp. I wouldn't want one of the soldiers to get lucky. Tell me, though, how did you pass the mist? I'm a witcher. Then I need an army of plowing witchers. All right, we got that taken care of. I don't really mind telling him why we need it. It's not like it's gonna help him out that much anyway. Uh, let's save just to make sure. Uh, but yeah, I figured it, it'd be best to let him know at least. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. Well, he's dead now. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen, at once! Alrighty then. We kind of have to like get her started before we can uh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. We, but we have to get her started before we can, uh, she'll, like, walk, uh, or fly, technically, fly on her own. But yeah, from what the team said, uh, they can't get to us because of this fog thing, and our people can't, so he wants us to get rid of it, but our people need to get rid of it as well. It says that we need to go that way, but... Doesn't look like that's where we're going. Looks like we got one of them. I think we have to go that way, yeah. Uh, not sure why it's showing over there, but whatever. care of these creatures. Alright. Nothing to it at all, indeed. We just need to talk to the girl again and get a random loading screen here. What else do we have? Yeah, we got the royal blood. So the memories, wait, wait to, okay, we need to wait for that still.
I I was thinking about this by the way and it says if you go to the left you get something but if you go to the right you get something else now I think we went to the right I just want to see if my thoughts are correct like what if we had to do both I might be wrong, but what if we do? Well, let's go and see. I also didn't really look for the symbol on the statue thing, so I kind of want to see if it is there, or in that general location in general, if that makes sense. I don't see it. Okay, so if we go, if we do go left, if we do go left, So, some, someone's plight, possibly somebody who's dying or dead. Did it say night's noon time or just noon in general? At noon. I don't remember seeing anything here. Um, when we, when we, uh, came down here before, but I don't know. Isn't this where the dead body was? There's also that other path. I'm pretty sure that just goes to... Wait. I just got an update. Oh, that's the sign. That just goes up to that other area above us, though, isn't it? Wait. The key. Okay. I thought it went up to that area, though. Yeah, his face was uh, pointing that way. That was like what was bothering me. For some reason that kept going through my mind. Maybe I was missing something. Whoa, Geralt, what happened to your hair? Did you stick in some gum? Let's just save. And then reload. Talking about a nightmare here. I wonder what time it is. Oh, a little after six. <coughs> there we go, everything's good again. I should get my dinner soon, though. Not that I would eat it, but uh, I should ha at least have it next to me. Yeah, go to the right. I already did that. I was right, yeah, there's that door that had a lock and a key and everything. So it was that place. It has to be that. I'll be very surprised if it isn't at this point. Tick. 
like that. If they're still by us when we're at the boat, then I'll fight, but if not, then everything should be good. Hell yeah. Let's get rid of this, I don't need this. Let's look around. Witcher! Wait! What are you doing here? I've been shadowing you since the first time you asked about Baltimore. Don't you mean we? Pay them no heed. They're my apprentices. I've an offer for you. Before you explore that chest, allow my apprentice to take Baltimore's notes. The rest is yours. He did seem shifty. And I have an offer for you. Get out of here, or I'll cut your head off. I knew kindness would lead nowhere. Get him, lads! Alright. We took care of Gump. Interesting. He was acting a bit suspicious. Diagram Hunter's Armor, huh? What does that look like? Don't know. Won't let us look at it. How grand. What a shitty game. Oh, what's over here? Oh, let's take it all. I don't want that. Beaver cap. Take that. 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 And the notes. Can we read this game? <sighs> All right. Find a lock compatible with the key. Wasn't this it? Oh, interesting. Let's go with this first. Alright, time to go see Sissel. Enemies are gonna pop out at us, but it matters not. We're just gonna run past. So that's been an interesting turn of events we have had so far. Thorak looks like he was the cause of both of these things, actually. Uh, 
going to be quite interesting to see how this turns out. So we can talk to Cecil about the one thing, and then we can go talk to... Or maybe not talk to, but we'll look in what the key opens. Sissel has become some important person in this um, city for us. For like quests and whatnot. It's like early morning. Gail didn't get any sleep, sadly. So if we want to talk to the sorceress, we go that way. We'll do that later. If we want to talk to Cecil, 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 however you pronounce it, we go over here. Thorax stuff is over there. Alright. I know it's a little early, but I found some news for you. By the pricks of the male gods! Master Baltimore's notes! Where did you get them? I discovered his vault near the troll's lair. By the way, Thorak, your new rune master, is dead. He and his two apprentices have left for a better world. What? How did it happen? Thorak murdered Baltimore. There's enough evidence in the notes I just gave you. Thanks, Witcher. A reward for your labors. It's not much, but I'll be needing funds to appoint and equip a new rune master now. All right, that's taken care of. Now let's go and quickly take care of this. Did we get any money? Oh wait, is that number down in the corner, 300? How much gold we got for a quest or something? Last I checked, it was about 800. Oh, so that's what those numbers are for. I haven't checked if anybody's commented on my Witcher play uh, first part. So I don't know if anybody said anything about that yet. But I found out after playing for 15 hours, so that's cool. Must be new, the new rune master. Oh! So when I got the original stuff in Thorax house, I thought we got it from the chest in the fireplace, but what we found was within the fireplace itself, not the chest. Right? Nope. Interesting. So we now have to... Yeah, it's not letting us search here. I'm hitting the buttons. I'll try doing this in the other house then. Not sure why it's being a little bit weird on me. This thorax key, so it shouldn't be in here. No, it is here, okay. Got a meteorite sword, 200 more gold, and a receipt. <laughs> I 
Did we get a thousand gold for that, or is that just experience? Yeah. Okay, so it's not always gold, but... Well, if we got experience, I wouldn't know. We are pretty much all done up now, so we've got to wait for this, that, and that. So that's pretty much where we need to go. I'm going to quickly pause. It'll seem like nothing for you, Zald. But, um... Yeah. Quickly save. Alright, I'm back. Got, uh... My dad made, uh... Mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and either pork chops or pork steak. I'm not sure which of the two it was. But I'll tell you, I'd much rather have pork steak than regular steak. The plague. I was so foolish. Cherish this rare moment, Witcher. Philippa Eilhart's been had by a cheap Nilfgaardian bitch. When I find her, we'll have it out like never before. She'll regret her mother didn't abort her. Wait. The Rose of Remembrance is gone. Not necessarily. That viper, Cynthia, was in a hurry and left her bric-a-brac. Ah, yes. Here it is. Triss Merigold's Rose of Remembrance. Time is running out, Geralt. This flower is dying. Then what are we waiting for? All right. You wanted to discuss... We have all the ingredients. Your turn, sorceress. I have all you need to cure Saskia. Let's get to work. Scoyatel, stand aside. Who are you supposed to see about the, um, Thorak character? Favorite type of magic, Lesbomancy. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's called the Kiss of Healing, or the Heal. Uh, what is it? Uh, Health Kiss, Healing Kiss. What is your name? Sen. 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 Kiss of Healing. What do they call you? Saskia. Do you remember what happened? Poison. They poisoned me. What day is it? What of the battle? Henselt and his army. Why do they sound Calm the yourself. same? You will have your battle yet. I shall go and announce that you are once again among the living. Do I owe you my life? And Philippa. Thank you, Geralt. I promise to return the favor. Have you succeeded in lifting the curse? Which curse? No, but we're almost ready to try. Oh, that one. Vandergrift's sword. It's one of the conveyors of the power. You should have taken it. It's scrap iron to me, a sword like any other. The Scoyatel wouldn't let anyone but Philippa near you, and they wouldn't have let even her take your famous sword. I'll try to remove the curse soon. Why do you aid me? Let's say it's a question of ideals. I espouse the same ones you do. You may yet prove a revolutionary. No, not bloodthirsty enough. Speaking of which, ever stop to wonder that all your commanders are natural-born killers? It has crossed my mind. The truth is, many find peace far harder to bear than war. 
Can I ask you a personal question? It's more boring mm -hmm. for some. How did you get caught up in this? It's the way I was raised. I should say it's how my father raised me. My mother died in childbirth. I knew my father, or at least bits and pieces of him. He was a little like you. Never wore out his welcome. But he did succeed in teaching me two things, honor and how to be free. My choice was to spit on those ideals, or to fight. <laughs> Lesbomancy. I actually uh, have a character who heals by kissing, actually. Um, it was a very... It was a very weird scene to write because she's trying to heal uh, another girl character, but... Uh, who was basically literally going to die. That There's a lot of updates here. But yeah, she was literally going to die, so it's kind of like... Damn, there's a lot of updates on quests. So... Is this the shower or the toilet? Uh, or a bath, I suppose. So yeah, I have a character who heals with kissing. It's more of a extreme version, though. Like, basically what the art this character here did for Saskia is almost like 100% what my character would do. Um, but yeah, she's like a mega healer. She actually heals so much that... The other character she heals, she bestows, she can, she's able to bestow a, uh, what's the superpower called, uh, longevity, I, I don't know what they call it now, it's not immortality, but it's just, basically the character won't die except for like, well she won't die of old age anymore, that's the basics, but she still can die. You know, some people do call that semi-immortal, but to me there's either immortal or there's not. Mortal means you can't die for any purpose, if like any means. And longevity means you'll live forever. You won't die from like old age or any kind of sickness. And maybe a little bit of invincibility. Let's look at all the stuff we've gotten taken care of. That, that was like most of this stuff that we just took care of. That's amazing. So... Oh yeah, we had to get rid Oh, so I guess I didn't get to finish that. Okay. I probably should have done that beforehand. I'll look in I'll look it up to see what happens. I, I didn't think um I didn't think that would matter. But we got rid of like pretty much everything except for a few things here. We still have... To, I don't think that's going to even matter anymore. And I don't even think this is going to matter. I think this was the guy that... Um, wasn't this the guy that we beat in a fist fight? Yeah. I don't think that's going to matter. I guess that's all we can do. Sorceress is this way, I believe. Now it's showing us where she lives. I know you're sleeping, but... Let's you wanted to discuss going. something. I'm oh. ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Get to work then, Witcher. I'll need your help. I need to find the right ghosts, somehow. They will find you. The aura of the artifacts will lure them. Let them think, speak, and act. Then you'll know what to do. Alrighty, Geralt, then. there is something else out there. Uh huh. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It has changed. A drog. I expected as much. Good luck, Witcher. Alright, so now we have to take part in the battle. This is not going to go well, is it? Alright, let's get going. This is literally all we have left. I really should have um, 
talk to somebody about that one quest, but it's all and done over with now. That wasn't proper English, but who cares? Who cares? Do we have anything we can sell to this dude? I think so. Alright, weapons. We why here? 30 to 40? I think that's even better what we have. Harpy, Silver Sword, Negotiator. 19 to 25. 16 to 29. This is better in damage, but this has freeze and bleeding, and we get better vitality, so I might keep that. And this, I think, might be better than our sword. I'm gonna, um... Let me put our sword away. I have a sword I want to keep. Uh, so let's keep that one sword. I, I might keep the harpy sword as well. Look, another one. Regards. You let one human in, and in no time, you've got a sword. these balls! Yeah. All right. Does it only stay here, or... Can we pick this up from, like, if you go to the bar persons, sometimes we can store items. Like, does this... Is this a shared storage between all those places? I certainly hope so. Uh, let's try... Uh, see what ours is. Uh, we have the robust sword of the penis here. Um, so, 28 to 34. What we. This is better, yeah. And it gives us vitality. Damage reduction on block, stun, and. Alright, let's definitely change these. I can sell this one. And then our steel, or silver sword. 11, 18. I might just sell that by now. I don't, that's so low that there's no need for it. Negotiator. I'm gonna keep that. And I'll sell these and keep the harpy for later. Oh, this is a quest item. I don't know if I want to put it on. It's not that great anyways. Oh, this is the armor we found in the, the tunnels below. So this is better by two armor points. It's got an armor reduction. A reduction of damage from magic by 10%. Both have vitality of 40, so that's good. Nope. Moved. No, they don't. That one gives a vitality of 40. But it has, this one has higher magic res reduction. Resistance to incineration, bleeding, and poisoning. I don't know if it's worth the two armor points for all the other crap, so I might sell it. Uh, these are pretty much the same. Um, I'll sell all this stuff except for the herbalist gloves. And this is a quest item. I really wanted this, but it's not worth it to me. That vitality is really good. Plus, all the resistances are slightly better. So, yeah. That witcher, you see, he travels the land, he 
Yeah, kind of sucks that we can actually fail quests like that, but... That's one thing I, like, worked on my game with, is making sure it can't... Quests can't be failed. Alright. So we're going to sell this one and this one. We're going to sell this, 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 and that. That's quests, so I don't even think they would let us sell it anyways. I thought we had more swallow than that. Let's see if I can do alchemy right here. Alright, enter. There we go. Let's, uh, character. We have 11 talents, so let's go and get the goods here. Uh, we're gonna get a few things here. Doesn't matter. We'll do another one of those. To deal damage to many opponents. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, so let's go with this. Don't know if it really matters though. And then let's get this. That doesn't really matter, but I really wanted to get this. Okay, I don't care about that. Sun death chance. I don't really care about that. Resistance by ten. This might be good, but I, I want to work on the Magicka stuff. So we went with. That's weird. Could have sworn I went on this side. Well, I'll get this then. And then we'll do this. Very strange. Definitely be going that way eventually. I don't know if the vigor matters. I don't know what that is really. That's the axe sign. Might as well. I'll drink the potion once we're outside of the gates here. Well, we've got a huge fight ahead of us here. Loading screen. A lot of loading screens in that area recently. Alright, let's save here. Oh, okay, let's go. It's warm. 
lovely old dome, and let the fruit is plentiful. You have the ones picking them. You'll be picking enemy heads today. No reason to wait. Slaughter the cat when he must. Wait. Time's not right. Sometimes I forget what the fight is for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why do Demavend and Hensel's duel to settle things? My brother-in-law is from Kedwin. Decent fellow. Once I was at a market there. Quality boots, cheaper than our merchants too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Kedwin is a bastard. Do you know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and sea, Artem! No, wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Capture the enemy standard! Alrighty then. in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. This whole bit is a little interesting. in the battlefield, Captain. Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glefizik scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hope. And you, Glefizik, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I finished talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle. My lords, to your banners. Tell the fray! The leader is a golem Maybe or something? you finished with me. But that doesn't mean I finished with you.
How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Henshaw's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking Upper Edo. The balance of power in the North will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. All right, then. What do we got to go That's with all next? You've got. You're dying fast! Like roaches under my boot. Is there a ten ready to match? Sell Kirk of Garrett on this field. Very interesting gameplay here. Our health is not going down at all. I'm never sure when there's going to be another um, cutscene or not because there's always seems to be one in this mission here. The visitor, I've long awaited this meeting. Leave, Ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave. This is a task for a witcher, not a knight. I do this solely for my men. Thanks. Ooh, look at that. It lasts way longer now. Mercy. You have failed me! Who are you? <laughs> Your nightmare! Real life is the nightmare. Oh, his armor's almost broken. Let's go with fast style for it. Just. 
I don't see the point of having that uh, power if it just likes to go away immediately. Getting behind them did a lot more damage. Should have stayed at home, find the grip. First mages to die after such a victory. Gosh, we can't fight such sorcery. Sorcerer's hair, unclean fire, we're doomed! Why are they doing this? As the prophecy says, when the time will come when sorceresses turn on men, flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Wait here for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss! Alright, this is going to be the part I hate the most, I'm guessing. I'm guessing we're going over here. Your work. Order your troops forward, Your Majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, your mark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle is lost. You put me to shame before them of end. His troops fought like men of honor should, to the end. Sabrina Glevasig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. July 25th. All right, more uh, the forest of memories, I suppose. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Alrighty then, that was interesting. Guess we broke the mess. You're finally awake. Am I dead or hallucinating? You wouldn't meet me in the beyond. I don't remember coming here. Because you didn't. Don't forget, we sorceresses have our ways. In that case, thanks for your help. You're too valuable to let die. You did the impossible. I don't know anyone who could deal with such a powerful curse. Oh well, thank you. I'll be famous. Neither do I. Now, tell me everything that happened. I saw everything. I saw Henselt sentencing Sabrina to death. I killed the drog. You must have, since the curse is gone. 
I saw Vandergrift. I saw a rain of fireballs and death all around me. Everywhere. Henselt is a criminal. He used the circumstances to kill Sabrina. He hated her. That's why you sided with Edern. For vengeance? It's not about vengeance. It's about a better world. A world without Henselts. That's utopia. Passing through such There's a no concentrated such mass of the power opens the mind. Cedric was right. The power of the Wraith's battle restores memory. And what have you recalled? Letho, Voltest's murderer. I saved him once and he helped me find the Wild Hunt. I just don't know if we managed to save Yennefer. Did you learn anything else about the hunt? When I killed the King of the Hunt, I killed a wraith. In my memories, I fight the hunt's riders. Blood flows from their wounds and they cry out in pain. Which means you do not yet know all. That's obvious. Not to worry. I will. You lifted the curse, but there's no time to rest. Henselt's army will attack at any moment. How's Saskia feeling? Completely recovered. She can't wait to deal with Henselt. She'll personally command the defense of Vergen. She's in her element. A siege can't be her element if she never faced one. You underestimate her. Keep in mind she's got allies. A famous witcher and me. Uh, and this. Perhaps I helped Henselt and put Edern in danger by lifting the curse. But I had no other choice. Sometimes you need to amputate the leg to save the body. Time to decide the outcome of this war. High time. Zoltan and Yarpen are setting up the troops. They're waiting for you. All right. Oh, boy. Getting to the nitty gritty. Oh, it's raining. Let us kneel and pray for a favorable day. Gods, grant us strength and protect us in battle. We ask not for victory, for we shall win regardless. Alright, let's get to the uh I heard the kid when you are marching! Uh, Run to the gate! Two, one, two, and again. Things will get hot. You'll see. Start God, the charm any moment now. I can feel it in my knuckles. Zoltan, prepare the main gate's defenses. I'll cover the wall. What the f You're quite the general, Zoltan. Why not call me a bloody marshal? Sass just got it into her head. It's either me or Yarpen. We drew straws, and I lost. Sorry to it's hear good that. good you're up. Henselt will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. Let's state the obvious. Henselt's experienced at waging wars, too. Experienced, my arse. Once they stand beneath the walls, we'll douse them in hot oil and set them ablaze. Just do your part, and Kedwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. The Kedwenny are coming! They multiplied, or what? Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sites. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right. All right, let's get this going. How'd they get up here? Well, they killed me immediately? That's retarded. I was fighting monsters and these guys just killed me in one hit. That doesn't even fucking make sense. And why are they up here? How did they get up here? That doesn't make any sense. Like, what? Hello? They're going through the thing. If they're up there, why don't they just run in through the city? Well, hurry up and load, motherfucker. Oh, apparently my character did not have a weapon. Pretty sure I had a weapon. That might have been why. Don't cover the oil, cover the 
together! Alright. That hot oil was a great idea. side is good. Let's go on the other side. They must have been up there as well. Never mind. Fall back behind the second gate or they'll kill us to a man. Fall back. Fall back. Says to retreat and follow Zoltan, but he's right here. Do you mean this way? I think he just means to these walls. Go this way. This is the only thing I can think of. Dalton's not uh, coming along though. Oh, we had to lead the way, even though it said he yes, did. Sir. Stop farting our own. To the walls, like a shot. At once, brave leader. Can we push him down like in Resident Evil 4? Doesn't look like it.
should let us push down the the ladders, but I guess they don't want us to do the intelligent thing. this guy over here. Repel those Kidwedi rags. For now. They won't give up easily. They'll return if they're thick as bricks. They find bricks falling on their heads. Another assault is coming. Get ready. The day will be ours. It must be. Indeed. Saskia! But I can't push these down. Yeah, this is definitely an action-based game right now. I'll let them take care of that other side and I'll take care of this side all on my own. Seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. <laughs> but their balls are much smaller. Maybe, but they're still gonna be back. I need your help, Witcher. Of course. I'm hearing that more often lately. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Mm -hmm. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. I'll look into it. Then I'll take a little excursion beyond the town walls. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not waste time. I'll come with you. Sounds good. Ooh, I don't know what to do. You shouldn't go. It's too dangerous. I thought you more keen. Since when do I avoid danger? The defenses are well prepared. Everyone knows their task. Besides, we'll make it in time. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. I won't reform ranks now. 
This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. Lead on. Why give us a fucking choice then? You surprise me more and more. I thought witches stayed out of politics. Yeah, well, Let's Triss, hurry. Triss kind of made it impossible to fucking do that. That's the whole army. Nobody else. I'm not Maybe they have a problem politics. fucking in fair Kedwin. Yet you stand on our side. I stand on Zoltan's side, Yarpin's. Would you join them if they fought under a Kedweni banner? No dwarf would fight for Hensel. Yeah, we're only political because Triss kind of... I want to say she forced upon us, but kind of. We were kind of forced into it in the first I'll take game. The lead. Stay behind me, Saskia. A chivalrous witcher. Another surprise. The world's upside down. then which way should we go Not that way, okay, yeah, it's, there's a thing over here. So it's definitely not this way. My lord, we'll soon reach Bergen. You'll take them by surprise. Bergen is in danger and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them.
she didn't uh, kill the dragon. She can transform into a dragon. Either she is a dragon or can transform into one. I know a woman is flighty, but to that scale? Now you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. Was it you at the, um, the siege? A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vergen could have used someone like him. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Upper Edern when the dust settles? Uh, they would eventually denounce you. You'd have to leave. Yes. The people of Edern know me as the Dragon Slayer. That's why they respect me. Maybe not the only reason, but if they learned I'm a dragon, they'd feel betrayed. They'd have a point. I didn't want to deceive anyone. And then it was just too late. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you. All right, it's kind of cool. Has a mercenary above her head for a moment. That's kind of amusing. Oh, yeah, forgot about loot. We'll see if the sword is worth anything. Let's see, 23 to 28. Pa, no wonder you guys lost. No. No. Well, the guy who got away knows who you are, though. So people are gonna know eventually. Now I know why she came with us, because it was a uh, plot. Plot forcing. <laughs> Still coming along? What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedsult personally leads all his cap. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? 
I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they want to help us? Wizard good. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. Oh. I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. The news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread. The spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked, humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Durnian Earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! <laughs> I hope they survive. They've been ever so kind. They're back. Terrorists, murderers, a death squad. Or freedom fighters in an uneven battle, noble in their suffering. Hmm. It all depends on your point of view. Yeah. I helped Jorvik. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. 
Hindsight is 2020, as they say. But it just feels like the right thing to do. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Yeah. Pretty much in every Your media best. form. That's what I call an entrance. That is true. Admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Hensel's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpin says Death Mold's magic damaged him. Yarpin knows fuck all of her deeds. Cover my arse and I'll close it. All right. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Wolf. There's no bloody gate that Zoltan Chive can't close. Damn straight, Zoltan. Let's get going. Where are we going, buddy? There's our trolls. They even got armor. Hell yeah. I didn't expect you here. So maybe we're going over this way. Well, there's our sorceress friend. Ah, he went down this. main gate now admit it you thought I wouldn't come back Windblade you're hellishly good we need to stop Hensel from retreating and then force him to try it there's no time to waste to the gate Your pathfinding got a little lost there, man. Cut off like sitting ducks. Maybe they'll surrender. Probably not. Sire, your orders. Surrender. The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? 
We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Death Mold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Death Mold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog. What exactly did he do? You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores! Swear Elder oath, Scrolls and showed that had been cut off. Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley. And I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. <sighs> it's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken fist tech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. They disappeared. A teleport. Let's search Eilhart's house. She was in a hurry, maybe she left something. <sighs> Can we trust none of the sorcerers? Let's take a look. King was right. Can't trust any of them. I figured we were able to trust this one at least, but... I've got nothing. Except for women's finery. You know, that one girl over in this area must have gotten to her. If only this bed could speak. Yeah. Jorvith, over here. I've got something. What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Even if it doesn't, it's still very valuable. I'm sure it's filled with recipes Eilhart used to send many to eternity. You're right. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for Mage Pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. Confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. 
Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Oh, jeez. I too noticed it was a little bit too easy. Makes you wonder if we can even trust Triss. I never did, even from the first game. That's why I chose the other girl, Shandi. Alright. Let's walk our way to uh, part chapter 3. At least that's Geralt. what my guess is. Saski has disappeared. People are getting riled. Dwarves too. Saski is spellbound. Philippa controls her. You're shitting me. I knew something was up. I could feel it. She ordered Deathbolt executed. No trial, just like that. A gesture from Philippa is all it took. That bastard deserved it. I wouldn't be surprised if Zoltan had ordered it, as vengeful as he is. But Saskia? Where is she? Philip has taken her to Lokamuin. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorvith. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Lokmuin. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. Don't have a choice, but you do. The elite of the North is gathering at Lokmuin. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. Mm. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail. There can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, hi. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Yep. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Yeah. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Wing, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Hmm. Dandelion basically stayed behind so he could sing songs and tell stories. As to their own freedom, they've gained, I guess. Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is? Triss Marigold. Until recently, advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression. A complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold, but it is reversible. Though, 
very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you'd know little about magic, Ambassador. It matters not. We need her alive, Azir. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time. Fancy. What is your name? Uh -huh. Tell me your name. Tress. Uh -huh. Visa getok gedain. Visa espet eb wovred, dar tocht eb nedling derien. Me hen eveneins eb turin. Me perft en alverde. Marigold. Your name is Triss Marigold. Well, let's hope we can kill him. That'd be fun. I recognize this valley. This path leads to the city gates. <laughs> They had to interrupt his monologue. That's just great. Civilizations. First that of the Vrams, then of ours, the ancient. They may be about to witness the fall of a third. Did the elves conquer the Vrams? No, disease did, and the climate. Long ago, the sources of the Pontar did not freeze over and flowed all year. Flowers still bloomed on these slopes in Velen. Huh. Alrighty then.
There we go. of the flaming rose at a peace summit. Mm. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Eilhard has a dragon up her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's Knights. Don't forget Sheila and Hensel. It should be an interesting peace summit. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastor. Or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. And the big news for you, dude. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know the passage. I know the cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. All right, man, let's go to the cave. Or take a look at the camp? No thanks. Is this the entrance? Not that one? Okay. I wonder how big this chapter is. The second chapter felt like a pretty big one. Good you're here. Look what I found. Hmm. Keep your distance. Already forgotten that a similar creature hung around my cave. Same time jump. Awesome. I like how the Wonder enemies how here explode turn. into uh, ice. Any loot from this creature might have some valuable stuff. These might be good. Let's see what... Only one armor resistance to bleeding, a lot of it, but... It's the only resistance it had.
There's a forested valley on the other side of the city, once teeming with wildlife. It's now dead. The royal delegation arrived here that way. I know. That's why we went around. What exactly killed the Vrans? As the years went by and the climate turned colder, the Vrans had less and less power. Their hunters descended on the land, they encountered the first I was trying to listen to the story, but the game likes to get really loud for some weird ass reason. They tried to save themselves, building an aqueduct and sewers that rivaled today's. But it grew colder, and the canals remained frozen for most of the year. When the elves arrived, they encountered only ghosts, a dead city falling into ruin. The engine. We're in Loch Muin. We're on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main course. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. I took a quick break to eat dinner finally. It's about eight at night. Oh, and let's check out our journal. Yeah, we didn't get two of those. Although, it looks like it's... Oh, these two are the same from this one as well. Same from those two. And that's... That's the only one left over from chapter two that's different from the three here. All right, well, let's continue. Doesn't look like we have anything else. Yeah, not really much else that we can do here. The Mages Guild right over there. Some guards. They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell, rotting in the Redanian dungeon now in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the executioner or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmoin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. 
A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhart very well, though gallows would be even better. If they kill her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Indeed. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Eilhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. All right. The tunnels beneath the city sound reasonable. They used to lead almost everywhere, though some passages may have collapsed during the fires. It's still worth a shot. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. Indeed. Now let's go find... So, where do we go now? This way, apparently. I see a bunch of red dots on the map, so... I'm guessing, uh... Reached imprisoned through the sewers. So we need to go all the way over here. Damn, is there a way to get into the sewers though? There's gotta be a way to get into the sewers. down here so maybe this is where we can go Medallion's vibrating all right a little bit more difficult than the other one we took care of. Let's see how the trophy is. 15 vitality, but no armor. Can't get that unless we figure out a puzzle here. Aw, oh, damn, this isn't the way down into the sewers. I mean, uh, Geralt hasn't gone down into stealth mode or anything, but... Huh, where is it? Be nice if they gave us where the... I was really hoping that was the sewers, but could be that over there. No, that's where we came from, I think. Yeah, I think we jumped down in that area. 
and then walked over here. Um, the sewers could be right in front of us, but that's where those guys are and they would see us for sure. Alright, I'm gonna save before I do anything. Save. Oh, nothing over here. Having a shield, it, it just goes away as soon as somebody hits you. Alright. I can probably just kill them all, honestly. We definitely don't want to go that way. For the so let's go this way. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Yeah! There we go. Easy. So these weren't the guards. Well, I didn't want the timber or anything, but... Alright. Let's get rid of that junk. Nope, come on. I said get rid of the junk. Now let's see what armor we've got. Superb. It's better armor, obviously. Better resistance against incineration, that's for sure. And bleeding. So we might as well wear that. And this... No, this. Uh, does magic. Better this. And this one also includes poisoning. It says it's quest armor for this, but it looks like we could technically use it. Not going to. The one we have is better. Alright, well, I think we're doing good now. So we need to go this way. Like we can only go this way. Oh, enemies, and then a loading screen. That's interesting. I thought we'd be going through the sewers, but it looks like we're going through the rooftops. 
Or maybe we have to go onto the rooftops before we can go to the sewers. Alright. Say progress. Are these enemies? Art your service. Doesn't look like it. Welcome. Oh, it's a lovely day today. Hmm. Oh, there's some guards there. Let's walk around so I don't accidentally run out. Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. Oh, are these guys from Maybe the first chapter? Didn't expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. Uh, what is it about? What kind of expedition are we talking about? We have irrefutable evidence that Ebde Henna's laboratory is located in Loch Muin. We need an armed man to protect us from the filth in the sewers. They're infested with monsters. The details you'll get from our employer. A sorceress. Remember that potion you gave me back in Flotsam? Of course. How's the experiment going? Noticed any side effects? Or peculiar interactions with other potions? Yeah, every time I mix it with vodka, my tongue gets hairy. Uh, who's the sorceress? I know a thing or two about monsters, and about sorceresses. What's this one's name? I'm sorry, but we cannot disclose her name until you agree to join us. Nice talking to you, then. Cynthia! Her name is Cynthia! That's what he remembers the most. That's kind of funny. Okay, let's just do it. All right, I'm willing to help. <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. Alrighty then, let's go. We had to keep going down further, maybe? I'm gonna go all the way down. Or maybe not.
We've broken through in the right spot. Quiet. Stand ready. He killed Vanamar. And many other mages. I know who he is, Cynthia. In the same city as Philippa, and you didn't even bother to change your name. That takes balls. Philippa's out of the picture. She's been arrested. And I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Grave error. I'll make you a deal. You don't get it. You turned Triss into a cold stone. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out why I shouldn't turn you into a cold corpse. She is alive and well. We decompressed her successfully, that there were no complications. And the interrogation after she was decompressed? Because you did interrogate her. I personally supervised it. We presented the tools, gave her a few bruises, and that sufficed to get her to talk. Tools? A few bruises? You really don't want to leave this crypt alive. If we're to die, we'll do so proudly, serving the Emperor. But I think that unlikely. Contrary to what they say, you're no murderer. Triss told me so. Got anything else to tell me? Just one thing. I've supervised dozens of interrogations. All subjects talk sooner or later. That's an old truth. Though some resist longer than others. Triss Marigold did not resist at all. She grew pale at the mere sight of the saws, hooks and needles. She was prepared to talk before the interrogation began. What did she tell you? I will not betray the Emperor. The Lodge of Sorceresses. We know its members. Margarita Loantil, Francesca Findebert, Fringilla Vigo. Skip it. I'm not interested. The assassinations of the kings. Philippa and Sheila de Thansaville commissioned them. What else? I don't know anymore. The subject needed to recover after the first session. Why are you here? We suspect Dare Henna's laboratory may contain documents and books that could be useful to the Imperial Academy of Science. That wasn't even close to funny. You're lying. We don't know what's inside. Dare Henna was a talented man, but also an eccentric. What do you hope to find? That's confidential. I cannot tell you. Regardless, we need your help. The laboratory lies beneath the Redanian camp, which we cannot penetrate above ground. We want to get there through the sewers, but can't manage it without a capable swordsman. How can I get into the Nilfgaardian camp? There's one entrance. Beyond it, a long, heavily guarded corridor. You, you can't hope to sneak in. Renwald Matson chose a spot specifically to avoid being surprised. Where are you holding Triss? At the back of the camp, beneath a ruined building. You're gonna help me free her. Not likely. You're better off killing me now. You've no idea what the Emperor's intelligence apparatus does to turncoats. Any deals we make will not be on your terms. Hear me out. So be it. Witcher, help me complete my mission. Help me open Dare Henna's laboratory. What'll you give me? I've read the intelligence reports. I know your past. There are things in there, important things you don't remember. I could force you to tell me. I don't think so. Will you torture me? We both know you couldn't. I won't help you. I'm getting out of here. If you ever spot me again, I'd advise you to run. Oh, go. Not on my watch. Shillard condemned him to death. He should be dead. Vanimar failed. We cannot. Long live the Emperor! All right, you asked for it.
Come on. Where's the other guy at? Well, I suppose that marks the definitive end of our expedition. You couldn't spare them. We cannot hope to breach dear Hannah's locks without them. I know, but I had no choice. I know Cynthia, her methods. They'd have used us just before they killed us. What about science? Science will find a way. Well, that's that, I suppose. Tried to, um... Tried to work things out, but the one dude was really bitchy about it. Alright. Well, that was a drastic waste of time. But we're down here now, so this should make things much easier for us to get to her. Yeah. But yeah, I was willing to help them out, but then they just looked like... They just got really bloodthirsty and wanted to kill us. I was fully uh, willing to help them out. But, oh well. Um, how do we get to where we need? Maybe we can go this way. Interesting. So I guess we can't just use this. That's fucking retarded. I do not approve. Maybe we can go to the door above this area. Maybe that's... Maybe that'll work. Alright, so where do we go from here? Looks like it's this right here that we go through. Alright, let's go to the door above this. Maybe there's some sewers up here as well. Those vampires. Maybe we have to get this in the right order. What the fuck? 
fuck? Nothing killed us. We just randomly died? What kind of shitty game does that to you? A shitty game, really. I don't understand this game sometimes. I think whoever made it was confused mess of retardation. Hurry up and load, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? I have to redo this bullshit again? Should have saved afterwards. What the hell? How, why is it being a shit show right now? It wasn't even close to this difficult before. What a shitty game this is. What is going on here? The fuck is going on here? Did they just automatically change my game to the highest difficulty? It's not how you do shit, game. I don't know what's going on, you guys. This game has just completely fucked around right now. I, d I don't know what it's doing. It's just made, it's just got a mind of its own right now. It's just doing whatever the fuck it wants right now. I have no idea what it's doing. It just completely changed. How am I supposed to- Why is this changing? How- What? It wasn't like this before. It doesn't even make any goddamn sense. I don't know what's going on here. The game has gone retarded.
What the hell? Do you guys know what the fuck is going on? Did it glitch out? I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'll try the autosave before. Maybe that will help things out. No, it, it's way before. I don't know. I'm gonna leave now and I'll be back when this fucking retarded shitty ass game decides to fucking be like a game instead of a shit show. Alright, so we did it. I'm back. I'm not going in there again. That's just a death trap. That took me way too long to get back to what it was supposed to be. Anyways, I don't know where we're supposed to go. That area seemed the perfect spot, but whatever. So... Let's find where we need to go now. not on our journal anymore. There we go. Um, so we need to go like this way. It might be where the guards are. And I can take them out if need be. Well, I did save, so let's go and check. Draw your weapon, girl, you piece of shit. Not sure how they're able to knock me down. I can't do that to them. Pieces of dog shit. I'm glad you're all dead, motherfuckers. Really? Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Maybe they have a key a key on them. No, where do we go? What a shitty game. I am no longer having any fun. The best part of this game was chapter two at the Dwarf location. <clears throat> I don't want anything to do with greetings. They're dead, game. God damn it, where do we go then? This game is pissing me off now. Renounce magic, I tell you! Shatter your towers and crystal balls! Constable John Latavis. Interrex John Latavis. Repair for your 
final lesson. Final? But... About damn time, okay. So this is that one area we were at before, wasn't it? Is this a different area to get to it, or...? Oh, there's another one right here to be extinguished. Oh, did they come back? So I have to, like, do it quickly, I suppose? No, they come back instantly. Okay, well, this is useless. This isn't where we're supposed to be. This is a different area. I thought we somehow walked away to a different part of the same room, but... So it's in this area. I need to get into this area somehow. But I don't know how. Basically, we need to get into this. Well, there was a door here, so... Locked, of course. why I didn't bother with it last time. I figured I wouldn't be able... The absence of certain people is telling. The absence of others... I just... I don't know what to do. There doesn't seem to be anything we can do. Why are people meeting in the shitty ruins here? And why did I just get... a fucking loading screen in this area? around those people. Fucking weird. I don't know what to do, so once again I have to look it up because this game is retarded. Hi. Alright, I 
had to look it up and it's over this way this is the tower we went into and it's oh and I also realized there's a bar around here somewhere so let's get into that not this um yeah, when I was trying to find out where the sewer is, uh, I've At your service. I found a, a bar location or a tavern. What do you want to call it? Back this way a little bit. And that way we can finish up a little quest we got, um, I believe, yeah, in the second chapter. Oh, we might not actually be able to go back. Usually it lets us, it at least shows us we can jump, but this time, oh, it's just being weird. Uh, hello game? What's going on? I'll be back when it stops being a piece of shit. Alright, got things working again. Had to restart the whole, well, everything. I knew we'd meet again. Not you. Silgrat doesn't forget humiliation. What do you want? You won't win this time. All of Edern will know the power of Silgrat's fist. Stand and fight. Already standing, bitch. off oh the fucking shame all right well I suppose that's that for that ah it's nice to see that's taken care of never saw him again okay well now we can get back to what we were doing another thing I was looking up was um, where the sewers might be and um, I believe it is right in front of the tower in fact, I think that's what I said before I was uh, going to do, go back and do that thing. There we go. me down and take my armor off of me, but I don't like it. Little fucking bitches. Give me my loot. Guess these peasants didn't have any loot. Locked? How are we? I'm pretty sure this is where we gotta go. Um, I'm very confused as what to do now.
I'm just gonna have to start going everywhere and just looking for something. I'll rip your guts out! Say goodbye to life! I have no idea what to do anymore. So I'm just gonna take everybody out. I guess that's what we had to do. You here? What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time. Though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the Rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philip Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, Your Majesty? Ambassador, Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! 
The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Isleheart. There will be a trial, due process. Everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer, put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. Talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, witcher. Fortunately, Isleheart won't be with us much longer. The Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I beg your mercy, not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know, but surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful. Or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin, by my hand no less. This will be no second Thanid. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Loch Muin's in for a huge surprise, both the mages and the kings. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. 
Allow me to relieve the Redanian Executioner. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. <laughs> Wait, what? It it didn't let me it didn't let me fight back. What the fuck is this bullshit? I have to do this bullshit all the fuck over again? I can't wait till this shitty ass game is done with. Now I had to do all that dumb ass shit again. I think I just have to get myself arrested. So I think if I just stay here. Or maybe I have to go in front of all the huge amount of people. Come on. I really hate how I didn't save during the whole cutscene there. That was... If they were just going to kill me, then they wouldn't do all that cutscene, so... Um... There must have been something there that I... I don't know. It doesn't make sense. This isn't like, this isn't um, a visual novel. It's not like you can say the wrong thing. And they kind of made it to where I had to say everything. So I'm not exactly sure what the fuck's going on here. Recruit in danger! Recruit in danger! <laughs>
did not arrest me this time around, so it's kind of weird. Alright, so let's just skip the cutscenes. Maybe I'm supposed to get something before I talk to her? Here. I think I need to find something before I talk to her. Oh, my hands are not tied this time around. Why are my hands not tied this time around? I'm gonna save here so we don't have to do that bullshit again. I worked up. I. Radovid. Did you know? Now we're blinded. That's weird. You're my. I'll. Torturer. I refuse to believe. The no. I understand. Radovid is. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him. Oh, I couldn't see it because the light was in the way. I just kept out. clicking the button because I know that's how this game works. Get me out of here! I need some answers first. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Of course Why not. did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes, too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. All right, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on. And you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. I mean, I would after I saw what he did. No tricks, Phil. I want to get out of here, and I want to live. Can you walk? I'm sure you won't faint on me. I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. That gun! Alright, thanks, uh, bro. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. 
And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. What's Sheila supposed to safeguard? The restitution of the Council and Conclave, and the creation of a strong, independent state with Saskia as its leader. With what aim? As a bulwark. A defense against Nilfgaard. After years of chaos and destruction, the time has come to build. We wish to rule, yes. Where is the fault in that? Everyone wants to rule. Not I know everyone. how to do that. Better than any other monarch in this city. You can't hope to win the common folk's trust. Humans will never accept a sorceress queen. Non-humans won't either, given what that old hag Finderbear has achieved. They all believe in Saskia. They all trust her. The girl is a born leader, yet she has no political instincts. She's charismatic, but not cunning. Courageous, but not fierce. She is just, but lacks the required cruelty. She is your very opposite. Perhaps. Together we would be unstoppable. Did you order Full Test murdered? No! Shillard claimed that Triss testified. Triss doesn't know what she's talking about. The Lodge exists, and Triss has lost our trust. All that is true. But Foltest's assassination? That was not my order. What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means, but I couldn't miss that opportunity. Yeah, okay. And this? How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a dagger with a counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way. She must be struck with surgical precision. Otherwise the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous. She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute, we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule? But I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Alright, let's go. Yorvith, know any way to get to Philippa's quarters unnoticed? Through this sewer. We may encounter monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. All right. So, okay. There's something in there. I avoided this place. Saskia perishes from the blow. You'll be next. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, don't you? 
Man, everybody in this game is like fucking psychotic. It's like everybody dreams of hurting others. It's really creepy. I don't see the point of having the shield if it doesn't work very well. Assuming you give us the dagger, assuming you can lick your wounds profession. Pain killing spells require focus and precision. I cannot manage one now. Die from the pain then. Rest assured, no one will help you, nor weep for you. Geralt, you'd best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Neither do I. All right, let's check the room. Put away the sword just to not seem threatening in case somebody's in here. Oh, just one of these. No, you don't have to go. I don't know how I did that when I wasn't facing the door. Should be good. Hey, what do they have? Yeah. Unshackle me. Remove the dimeridium. I can help you. Shut up. I barely trust her. Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes, the very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The dagger's inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I need to look at the notes first. After I light the candles, we'll remove the dimeridium and you'll open the chest. Alright. So we need to go down here and find the notes. Might be over in this area. Yep, here we go. Oh, gold, not that we need that anymore. Alright, what do we need? So, do we start in a corner? Alright, let's see what we've got here. It's a crafting component. Uh, 
Not sure why that keeps being whatever it's called went to my inventory. That's kind of weird. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that this um, where is it? I'm going to assume that this right here, the bottom part, is this bottom. So I'm going to say that we have to first do this. I figured we had to do all of them. And now, one, two, three, four, and then five. So let's try this one. One, two, I, I thought we had to do all three of them. Nothing's happening. My notes are clear. All right. Maybe it's the last one. Oh, if I saw that, I would have known it's the last one. So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, let me check that one more time to make sure I remembered it. I think I've got it. One... Two, three, four, it worked. Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trained mage is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do as I say before I lose consciousness. Try anything clever and you will die. spell binding her but she'll never be human she's more than a dwarf someone who restored hope to the end shay she's a monster if you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself face it delian you'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness look out Carol. Help her, and this is what we get. Bloody barrier! I can't penetrate you!
your own. I can't help you. Come on. Come on. Look out! Strong style. Difficult. Amazing fight, Gwynblade. Get the dagger and let's get out of here. Indeed. Let's hope this blade will do the trick. A strange weapon. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. You're probably right. Please don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. All right, and this Time one. to join the talks. I'll go ahead and see what we can expect. Oh boy. hope that actually works. Location of the amphitheater. We went over there earlier. Renounce magic, I tell you. Shatter your towers and crystal ball. to see the deliberations here on urgent business your dress seems to confirm it excuse you indeed I suppose I couldn't much care I've heard what I came to hear and what pray tell was that the rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne Interesting. there will be peace in the land what more could one want Prince Stennis is here King Stennis Crown two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Mm. 
Another memory? Prince Stennis. A poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Alrighty then, let's get going. I see you took care of the guards. I hate those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true. I'm pretty sure you ate everything, job. dude. Then they didn't do it well enough. Can we go now? Yeah. There's not much else to do. Is this the final quest? I believe. Or at least yes, it feels like go. it. Time to finish it. Yeah. I didn't know side quests, so... We have nothing else to worry about. Except for the finals. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the council and conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you wish you from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up Temeria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate. <coughs> I guess the last uh, today randomly chosen mages and sorceresses cutscenes. reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. 
My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me <coughs> out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial Envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses? We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Findaber, Ida Emin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzavir. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our queen left to powder her nose. Heavy duty soldiers here. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Nguyen. A court of law will reveal the traitors. I guess we can't help them. So we have to destroy the sorceress probably. Turn back while you can, Witcher. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. If we have to kill you, we will. If I have to, I will kill you. How do you like my dragon? Sesemphasis! Kill him now! You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sesemphasis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. 
Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorven. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. All right. So do we just have to fight it and not... Hmm. Well, I was hoping to not be doing that, but... Maybe we have to weaken it first. I don't want to kill Saskia. point of having the shield if it doesn't work.
I don't think we can, um... I don't think we can, uh, save her. Every time I try to get close, it doesn't work. So let's get the another sword out. Quite honest, I was hoping they were gonna let me um, take a potion before this, but they didn't. Yeah, game, I know. You don't have to be a douche about it. No, I don't want this one, game. I want my own save that I saved right before we got here. I guess I didn't. I thought I did. I remember saving. Geralt! We're trapped! I can't get through! Sheila! You must get Sheila! Hope that works. And maybe we can upgrade some more stuff here. That can help us. that one well it doesn't really matter else in here that would be good. I'm gonna go with this and I want to get all these um, resistances because if I can get a resistance to fire then that could be good. I hope that'll help. I'm gonna save here. We have the auto save right before this, so that should also help. Stand back while you can, Witcher. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. If I have to, I will kill you. Okay, it didn't let me do anything there. I was trying to do something and it wouldn't let me. Piece of shit of a game. But you all know this game sucks. Let's do this right here. There we go, let's hope this works. We'll fight with this one. And then this one, I don't... I 
I don't know, I, I hope that works. Turn back while you can, Witcher. Okay, that was weird. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. If I have to, I will kill you. Uh, just by the by, I did actually read some tips on how to fight it better. It was kind of a thing I needed to do, honestly. Because I knew I would have no other choice.
come on. Gonna do your toe swipe? No. Well, at least we don't have to worry about falling off the edge. Now would be a good time to get the dagger out. I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Good to know. Can you tell me what'll happen to Jorvith now? Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own and perhaps, a few generations on, humans will forget. Did you intend just to use him? Geralt! Yorvath has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting? We shared a cause, fought side by side. Yorvath did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? There will always be a place for the Scoyatel in the free Pontar Valley. As to Yorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I've found dwarves fascinating. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. Okay. Philippa took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could reveal your secret? It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, 
but I shall leave that to fate. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control, as soon as she's done licking her wounds. I shall be cautious next time, and I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. Hmm. And how's that? More than she would wish. Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. We were close, and Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. It's a good idea. Sheila and Philippa have lost. The Lodge has been defeated. That's good, though temporary. I fear we shall hear of them again. Mm -hmm. You know Emir's armies have crossed the Yoruga? I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian Lords and Henselt. With a bit of luck, we'll defeat the Emperor as well. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Trettenworth, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. Hmm. Polymorphing. Did you get that from him? Just a hint of it. I can only assume one human form. He could transform into anyone he liked. You also don't have his quickness and reflexes. And I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Bork these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. Sesenthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being Sesenthesis. A var fail. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Virgo. I hope I so. That was the only good guest. part about this Don't game. Worry. I'm only ever a visitor. Yeah. I know. That's kind of sad. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. And sometimes it's better to be surprised. That is true, yeah. Farewell, Witcher. Farewell, dragon girl. guys are evil. Epilogue. If it's like anything in the first game, there wasn't really any quests. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of cutscenes. Well, let's see what the game has for us. What happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. What about Letho? Strange thing. 
He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody spectacle. The players? There were many. At first, it was a hunt for the traitors, but it soon turned into a hunt for all mages. Jeez. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. The pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilfgaardians? Remained neutral. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. All right, come along. When we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Elf! Kill the non-human. All righty. When the summit ended, we hid in one of the houses, but they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells, but I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. Lock Mween has changed. That's what it looks like now. Yeah. Psychopaths. I thought my game was dark. Or my fantasy stories. I think I heard something. Imperial troops. Long live the Emperor! Hell yeah. Hey, dog! I managed to sneak into the Nilf Guardian camp. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. Where exactly do we go? Looks like we need to go through here, but we can't.
Oh, okay, a door over here. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Are you all right? Yes. He saved me from the Nilf Guardians. And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. All right. With everything that's been going on, I don't really want any more bloodshed, so if we can, like, just talk it out and not fight, I'll be good with that. Took you a while? Ah, he's the one who did it. from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the megascope has a flaw. Minute, but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. Oh, it was. Good. Had she lived, she would have suffered more intensely and much longer. Yeah. She helped me quite a bit, through naivety and pride. I would not have gotten far without her. <laughs> So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry? In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Covered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Nutho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. Mm. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. He okay. struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Alrighty then. So he lost his memory to save his girlfriend? Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. 
So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Uh, what happened Tell to her? Tell me about Yennefer. I know that she's what a character in the third I game. Departed. She was feverish for several days. Delirious. I haven't played the third game. I've never seen anybody play it. it. But, you know, the internet as out. it is, you hear Somehow stuff. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. Oh. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums, trying to seduce orcs, trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. Okay. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. That's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground of trash. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you one. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, you know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. 
They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What do they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's Order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And Witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Serret and Ox, I know of two other uh, witches. The music is really the loud. I would like to turn it down, but on the path. pretty sure if I press I escape, it would end the cutscene. These guys don't know how to speak now up. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. And so, why did you wait why for me? Are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me, and I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way, but if I have to fight you first, so be it. The story ends here and now. And this one. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion would say. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move, but sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like. Feels like all the story is at the I end mean, of the game. I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact, that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. And how'd you learn about the Lodge? Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido. Uh -huh. The Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. Okay. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia. And without her knowing it, there was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. Okay. How'd you kill the king? How'd you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. 
I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk. But it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel. Another of Sheila's ideas. With Yarveth's elves, not only did we cut down Damavand, but traveling with them put us out of the lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. And how did you know he'd go there? How did you know Foltest would come to the monastery's solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when he has pronounced it as siege? process instead of process. I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just. I like to pronounce it as process as well. Even though I feel like it is wrong. So one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do well, was anybody can keep a secret if you pay them enough. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed. To recognize an old friend. So you wanted to when do that? When did you decide to get rid of Yorveth? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Skoyatel were protecting you. Maybe, but with your vet, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. So she came to Flotsam to look for you. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind, or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Well, you failed to slay Henselt. You screwed up with Henselt. Sabrina's curse tore that down. First off, we got holed up in that hideout in the ravines. Then Sheila showed up and started watching Henselt like he was her own ass. By that time, his death was no longer necessary. Fate had smiled upon us again. I learned of the summit and the efforts to reconstitute the Council and Conclave. The ideal setting for the mission's grand finale. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. There 
very shortly the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt. I saw no point in doing more fighting. There's been enough of that. Plus, I wanted the dragon to be our final fight. Suppose that for that. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the King's Lairs. Along the way, he had met both the righteous and scoundrels, Bernard Lorito amongst the latter. Lorito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non humans to the four winds. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Eder, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Eder, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even so. sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds have been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Voltest's realm, when Radovit of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Uh -huh. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. Must not be very magical if they can't the protect themselves. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Hmm. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. Oh boy, Dandelion.
All right. Well, that's the end of that game. Um, I think it's no so no shock to anybody that my favorite part of the game was the second chapter. Um, just being in the whole dwarven area that that was a lot of fun actually. Prologue was weird. I don't. I don't really have many opinions on that one. It was just a little weird. Um, the epilogue was pretty cool. That felt like just uh, info dump. So we got a lot of cool story there. Um, first chapter was hit or miss. There was a few parts I didn't really like, but for the most part it was okay. Still does not compare to the second chapter. The Dwarven city was really cool. I really liked that place. The third chapter... I was mostly annoyed with uh, the third chapter, I, I think. The first chapter was kind of boring, honestly. There was a few parts that I didn't like. But it was just boring, it wasn't anything too bad, but third chapter I just, that one just really annoyed me a lot. Probably it was done purposefully, to be quite honest. Either way, um, it, it was pretty good good sequel I think. I, I, I think it was okay yeah it was okay not pretty good it was just okay uh, the second once again second chapter just saved it such good chapter I really enjoyed that one because of the second chapter I'd give the game a six out of a ten instead of a three um but yeah, I still like the first game more. The first game was really good. Really, really good. Um, and I hear everybody talking about the third game, so... Eventually we'll be getting to the third game. If my computer can handle it. I had to fix up a few things just so my computer could run this game. Well, I was able to run it, but I wasn't able to run it and record it at the same time, so I had to fix a few things so I could record it also. But the third game, who knows? Unless it's really... Unless it's really optimized well. Uh, we might not be able to play it. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the, um, the game. I found it quite interesting and I'm really glad for that epilogue actually the uh, story that we got it tied up all the loose ends that I was quite curious about um, so I'm I'm really interested how the third game goes now I'm, I really am wondering how it continues. Uh, apparently, I mean, so it, when you saw the, uh, the like the intro of the game, like it all asked if you had like a save file from the first game, and I, I, I suppose the third game's doing the same thing. The only thing is, is I didn't see my playthrough of the first game really m matter. I didn't see any new anything, so I don't really see the point of them doing that, unless it was a few minor things, which makes it not matter, honestly. Because I just, I, I sided with the uh, Scoia'tael, the Elven Rebels in the first game, the same with this one, and there was like no mention of it. 
He didn't talk about Yavin. I'm pretty sure it was his name was Yavin, right? Well, see that they got Adam Scorp Scorupa to do the music for this game as well. But yeah, man, damn, this game is so dark, like, e way, like, a hundred times darker than the first game. Like, damn. This is... The first game was dark fantasy in a, a different kind of way. It was dark in showing, like, the realities of, like, the racism between elves and dwarves and humans. But this game was dark in a violent way. It, it's all it. It's almost a little bit too much for me, even so. That's saying something. My, my game is dark in the first Witcher way. Like, there's a lot of racisms going on. There's a lot of racial wars going on. Um. There is similarities though with this game in which. My game, uh, Fantasy World, what, the game itself is based on uh, books that I started writing and then wanted to see what it would look like as a video game. I wanted to see my characters in a video game setting to see like how it would work. And that's why I became a video game designer. Uh, and then I, uh, funny enough, I forgot. That's what happened, and I, I remember a couple of years ago, I was thinking that would be kind of cool to turn the change, uh, you know, turn the video game into a book series, and then a couple of weeks or months after that, I realized that that's what it actually was, originally a book series. I wanted to make my own fantasy world, and I did. I've been working on the maps and everything since. Got a, a lot of lore down, and one of the things that is similar to this game in particular is all the warring that goes on. There's a lot of battles and a lot of war. That's like the main thing about my game was a lot of wars going on, but it was for different things. It wasn't for like getting new land. It wasn't greedy kings. It was literally just racism. Um, the elves are very racist in my um, fantasy world. And they see themselves... Well, they're a mix of racist and superiorist. So, they have one group, one race that they hate above all. I, w I don't want to give any spoilers away, um, just in case, you know. But yeah, they have a, uh, oh, there's the never-ending stories, uh, scene. Artex! <laughs> um, so yeah, one race they just absolutely hate. But most of the other race, races out in the, the world of mine, they don't hate them, they just feel like they're better. In fact, in their minds they know they're better. The only races they like are all the other elven races, except for the ones that they feel like are betrayers, which there are a few that would fall under that category. But for like humans, they don't hate humans, they just, they're like, oh, we're better than the humans. The other races, oh, we're better than them. That one, technically a second one, because there's one race that they hate. And then the, another race that helps out that race, so they hate those two races. The elven race is very strict in my world. So yeah, it's a dark... My game is a dark fantasy, but it's more of dark fantasy in... Like, this is a grim dark. I think that's the actual name for this. I've been using the term dark fantasy, but technically what this is is a grim dark. Or a, is it dark grim fantasy? 
I, either way, like, that's what this stuff is. Mine's the dark fantasy in the horror sense, like, fantasy mixed with horror. Talking about my game and story series kind of makes me want to work on my stories again. I know that this uh, video game series was actually based on a book series that I actually I want to get it now. And I heard the author did not like the game. I don't know about the other two. I just know I've heard about the first game. They didn't like it. He didn't like it. Apparently, they didn't follow the stories. And so here's the weird thing for me. Um, I'm a game designer. Um, kind of between beginner and intermediate, closer to inter. I would say intermediate. There are a few beginner things I don't know about, but for the most part, I'm mostly intermediate. And. Anyways, video game designer, but I'm also a writer, and writer mostly, first and foremost, really. So, basically what I was trying to say is that I'm, I'm, I take sides with the writer in pretty much most scenarios. And taking the writer's side on this one as well, obviously, because that's, you know, I, f I feel like writers should stick together in a way. I know that sounds weird to some, probably, but... Anyways, um... These credits have been going on for quite some time. Um, if you're if you're still watching at this point, like holy damn! Especially if you haven't skipped to the ending. I know people do that sometimes. So the thing for me is, if anybody's actually watching this currently and is hearing what I'm saying. I always watch through the credit scene. I don't always talk through it, but I do always watch through it. Because, you know, I, I feel like the game needs to be shown 100%, including the credits. So I was going to play through the credits anyways, but I found it quite amusing that at the beginning of the credit se sequence, that there was like a little message that said the ending scene is, is at the end of the credit scene, which is clever of them to do, but I, I just find it amusing them thinking that they're just going to skip through it and miss it. Because I, I like to look at through the credits. I, I find it interesting, usually. I usually like to see who voice acts you know the voice actors but I didn't I didn't see them I, I saw the Polish versions but I didn't see the one the people for the English version is that like a Polish way of to say Peter Pio Piotr Piotr Slavo Thomas, is that Thomas? That is a lot of, oh, is this, are, are we going to see the English uh, voice actors now? I thought it showed the English stuff before the Polish, but maybe they didn't. 
Damien. Damien's a cool name. Doug Cockle. Interesting name. Zoltan Alexander Morton. Eric Hughes. Jamie Barbakoff. That's an interesting name. John Schwab for Dandelion. Yorveth with Mark Frost. I don't know any of these names. I don't really follow um, voice actors that much, except for a few. But none of them are here. Pandora Colin. Pandora. Imagine naming your kid Pandora. That's epic. <laughs> I just like to open Pandora's box, if you know what I mean. Ah, oh, that was so good, actually. I might actually have to, um... I think I'm done talking for now, so I'll be back when this is over with. Can't do any more talking. See you at the last final scene.
Alright, well, here we are. The final little cutscene here. Probably nothing of importance. But, you know, one little last piece of whatever here. Ugh, a bunny. I don't like bunnies. I would dislike deer even more. Deer are just rats with hooves. A wooden bridge. From where to where? Well, for fuck's sake. Alright, so there's definitely a huge war going on in the third game. I'm guessing that's what that is about. Alright, well, let's hope my computer can actually run that game. What, is that time travel? A time travel bit there. Okay, well, yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, playthrough of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Doom. Love you all for doing as always. Stay safe.